She may be best known for her large flower canvases, but legendary artist Georgia O'Keeffe also is inspired by the desert and culture of New Mexico. An exhibition opens next week in Denver featuring her work. And with me today is Molly Medakovic, who is master teacher of Western American art at Denver Art Museum. Welcome, Molly. It's so wonderful to have you with us. Thank you. I think you have just the best job in the world to be able to work on a project like this. You know O'Keeffe's work very, very well. We may think that we know Georgia mm -hmm. O'Keeffe, but you really know her. What makes her so special? We're so excited to have this O'Keeffe exhibition because, for one, she is just an iconic artist. She is a pivotal figure in American modernism of the 20th century, began her career in New York City, and eventually moved to New Mexico. And these New Mexico years are what this exhibition is about. And people love those New Mexico years, don't they? Why did she land in New Mexico? What was important about New Mexico to her and to her work, the way it evolved and, and just remains so fabulous and, and beloved today? This is one thing that's so great about the exhibition is that in 1929, she started going down to New Mexico every summer. She was such an independent woman for her time. Uh, by 1949, she moved there permanently and lived there for the rest of her life. She just loved it. It's as simple as that. It was an inspiring place for her creativity. She fell in love with the landscape, you know, the pink, yellow, beautiful color rocks, um, the cultures that she encountered down there, as well as the unique architectural forms. So it, it offered something that New York City really didn't and oh. energized her creatively. Right. It is so different from New York City, so isn't different. it? So different. People may love her and think they know her and are very familiar with her work, but this exhibition is really different. The Denver Art Museum has uh, done something different here. It is, and it's something that studying O'Keeffe has really interested me, and I think visitors will be surprised by a grouping of her paintings and drawings uh, known as Ketsinam, which refers to the Hopi spiritual figurines that she encountered in New Mexico. And she was really drawn to these beautiful carvings. They're made from cottonwood root and decorated with beautiful geometric designs and bold colors. And this is part of her body of work that a lot of people, myself included, might not have known about. So it's a great addition to what we think we know about O'Keeffe. Wonderful. Well, the Denver Art Museum really is on a roll right after the Van oh, Gogh exhibition, definitely. now this, and lots of other wonderful things coming up. The Denver Art Museum Georgia O'Keeffe exhibition opens February 10th, and it is included with your general admission. So many shows are not included, but this one is included, and we've posted a link for the hours and more information about the show on the denverchannel.com. Click on that red button on the home page, and the segment also will be linked on my Facebook page. So thank you so much, Molly, for being here. Thank you.